Hi, I am Will You Read, back again for a book tag video. And this book tag video is off the top of your head, book tag. And it was created by the Library Mouse, and I was inspired by Jesse the Reader. Follow those creators and watch this video as I explain the researched books that I chose and what are the questions. So what was your favorite picture book as a child? And that would be Good Night Moon and it's really really fun and I got to read it when my younger sister came into this world so that was a really nice touching moment for me and the next question was what was your favorite book series you loved as a child and that would be Jeremy Thatcher Dragon Hatcher a magic bookshop book by Bruce Colville yes and I enjoyed that one a lot and from what I heard from my mother just a few minutes ago that I liked it a very very much yes and I really really had a fascination with that book while I was like six or seven years old and that was like conjoined with like the first Harry Potter book which honestly are good examples of what I was reading at the time so that was my early life before I went to Mexico of course <laughs> my adventures in Mexico always bring me back um what's the worst book you've read or tried to read and that would be Pick the Plot by James Riley, and this is the Story Thieves, and honestly, it gave me so much fright, so much fright. You don't know how much fright, because the narrator is like watching you, and that gave me OCDs, and, and that gave me OCDs while I had the OCD of security cameras. It's like, it couldn't get any worse. Like, honestly, I was frazzled and also going back and going to one page to another page and to another page it's like like what like yeah like honestly discombobulating you know what i mean that that's what i describe this book and the experience your favorite reading or book memory and that would be my dear friends the harry potter series it enamored me to the idea of reading and one day my mom was like hey why don't you read in instead of gaming Disney Infinity 3.0 and I'm like what and she's like go sit on my bed and read the first Harry Potter book I'm like okay this was me reading Harry Potter what my mom said was true reading in bed is so nice oh oh yeah like oh my gosh reading 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 yeah totally totally reading and so that's how i got to be a book youtuber that's my story <laughs> a book you loved as a movie question and that would be between the shades of gray or ashes in the snow i have never watched a movie i trust that Rita Sepetis had an active and awesome role in the movie, and that it was awesome. I couldn't think of anything else. I didn't want to copy Jesse the Reader's answer, The Fault in Our Stars. No. I wanted to do something very cool and underrated, and that was Ashes in the Snow. Or Between Shades of Grey, because... Um, a book you wish they would make into a movie. It's the Uno reverse card. No, just kidding. It's Dark Disciple by Christy Golden. And you know why? It's because this book could have been a TV series arc. A few episodes, you could have Quinlan Voss and Asajj Ventress and Awesomeness of Star Wars. 
and they made it into a book, thankfully, right? But it was going to be something to ever get adapted again. Like the Soka novel, Tales of the Jedi, right? A book character you would like as a friend. You know, it's an easy pick for me, Reef Silas. You know, as much as I've read from this book, he is a guy that loves reading hollow books and being in the archives at the Jedi Temple. Like, he doesn't want to have much adventure, you know? And that's okay. We can lead a studious life and love reading adventures. You know what I mean? Me. Like, he basically looks like me. My parents deny that I look like him. Look. Do I look like him? It was like I was inserted in the book. Like, literally. A place you want to visit because of a book you've read. Paris. Easy. Paris. Because of City Spies. Because of James Ponty. Like, honestly, I love the guy. So, the author... Um, really identified with this first part of the story. So these kids right here are adopted and they are part of a mission to help things go smoothly as British spies. And the mother is a reflection sort of of the author because the author did not have a relationship with his dad so he wanted the mother to help find his own children that unfortunately were lost because her mother didn't know that he was alive because of a great catastrophic accident like basically a somewhat memoir type in this book a secret little easter egg Fiction book would you recommend? Ooh, I am Malala, the girl who stood up for education and was shot by the Taliban. Yeah, you know why I want to choose that book? Is because it is a slow pace book that has so much research background that you could do. You could put this in the classroom and learn about different cultures and reflect on certain phrases or paragraphs which has various impacts for the non-fiction reality story that this is. And in some areas the writing can describe dark moments or sad twisted things that can happen to people but sets perspective to her story and why her campaign is so important and how some beautiful hopeful moments are just awesome to live for and feeling. You know, um, in the end, you'll be crying tears of happiness because hope shines so bright and I can't wait for you to read this. And this is a part of my review that I never got to review online. Like, look, this book is so well done. I am amazed. Like, this book, wow. A graduation, and you know who the guest speaker was? Malala Yousafzai. What? What? I know, right? <sighs> if you could hang out with an author for a day, who would it be and why? Mike Chen, gotta say. Mike Chen. He looks like a really lovely guy to me. And this book has so much meaning because it's like ethnocentrism and how some culture was like, like put a stamp of like, this is what you are, but they're not just that. They're different people. They don't have to be the bad guys. They could be the good guys for all you know. The uh, Nemoidians on Cato Nemoidia, like, like Obi-Wan and no, but I'm just saying to you, I'm just saying to you is a reason why, because he brings so much thought into his books like well thank you for watching i am so hyped up that i might have an autistic meltdown like really <laughs> <laughs> would you read any of these books here like any of these books um just wondering out of curiosity and this is a nice setup thanks for watching